in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and lush meadows. There lived a wise old man named Amon. Amon was revered throughout the land for his profound knowledge and unwavering sense of justice. His presence alone could bring a soothing calmness to any conflict that arose in the village. One bright morning, as the sun painted the sky with hues of gold and amber, a commotion arose at the village square. The villagers had gathered, their voices tangled in a cacophony of anger and frustration. The source of the turmoil was a disagreement between two neighbors, Ella and Magnus. Ella was a skilled potter who had painstakingly crafted a set of exquisite vases. Magnus, a prosperous merchant, had promised to buy the vases at a fair price. However, when he received them, he claimed they were of inferior quality and refused to pay the agreed amount. The villagers urged Ella to confront Magnus and demand her rightful payment. But Ella hesitated. She was a gentle soul in abhorred conflict. On the other hand, Magnus, known for his shrewd business dealings, remained stubborn and refused to acknowledge the value of Ella's work. The situation reached a breaking point, and Eamon stepped forward, his presence commanding the attention of all. With his flowing white beard and kind eyes, he emanated an aura of wisdom that silenced the crowd. Eamon listened to both sides of the story attentively, his expression never betraying his thoughts. After a long pause, he spoke softly, My dear villagers, let us seek justice not vengeance. To resolve this matter, I propose a unique trial. The villagers leaned in. Curiosity painted across their faces. Amon continued. Tonight, when the moon graces our sky, let the symphony of justice unfold. Ella, bring forth your vases. And Magnus, bring your scales of gold. We shall convene in the heart of the village square. As the sun set and the moon cast its ethereal glow, the villagers gathered once again, their anticipation palpable. Amon stood in the center, Ella on one side with her vases, and Magnus on the other with his scales of gold. Amon's voice carried through the night. Ella, in these vases lies your heart and craftsmanship. Magnus, in these scales lies your wealth and honor. Let the scales of justice be balanced, not by force, but by truth. With that, Amon placed a single feather on one side of the scales. The air grew still, the villagers holding their breath. The scales remained unmoved. Amon turned to Magnus. If your claim is true, and Ella's work is indeed of lesser value, let the scales tip in your favor. Magnus hesitated then placed a handful of gold coins on the other side. The scales remained balanced, the feathers weight equal to the gold. Amon's voice resonated once more. And now, Ella, place one of your vases on the scales. Ella carefully set a vase onto the scales. To everyone's astonishment, the scales remained balanced, not a feather's weight tipped the balance. The villagers exchanged bewildered glances, unable to fathom what they were witnessing. Amon, however, smiled knowingly. You see, Amon spoke softly. Justice does not favor the loudest voice or the heaviest purse. It rests upon the truth, the integrity, and the delicate balance of fairness. Magnus, humbled by the sight before him finally recognized the worth of Ella's craftsmanship. He turned to her, his gaze sincere, and admitted, I was wrong, and I ask for your forgiveness. Ella, with grace, forgave him, and the village erupted in applause. Justice had been served without enmity, vengeance, or bias. Amon's wisdom had prevailed teaching a lesson that resonated deeply within the hearts of all who witnessed it. From that day forward, the village remembered the symphony of equilibrium, a tale of justice that echoed through generations, reminding them that true justice lies in the balance of truth and integrity, not in the weight of power or wealth. 
and Amen's legacy endured, reminding all that justice is a symphony where every note finds its rightful place in the grand harmony of fairness.